Hey guys, GH, welcome to practice tea, and it's a cold, windy practice tea today. Okay, <clears throat> today I, pro I can really almost say that what we, what we could title this video today is the finished product. Because after a practice session that I had yesterday, after I'd finished doing uh, the videos that I did yesterday, I really put the put the cherry on the cake, so to speak. And I can now actually work the proper golf shot sequencing and timing that you would put into play on a golf course with the swing now. Should do this before you come on camera, JH. Okay, we're over with the cows again today, but it's always, I know I'll never be interrupted with the cows. They just don't interrupt me. Okay guys, now, yesterday when I was saying about the path of the club having the great, a great influence on the slicer. Okay. Now, the face has an, has an influence, and there's a train of thought that face has more influence than path. Well, I can tell you guys, I've stood beside the Iron Byron a couple of times, the different manufacturers, and we've spent a few hours moving the orientation of the Iron Byron around, the robot, and I can tell you, every time we set up an outside path across the ball with an open club face, every single solitary time, the ball started left of the target line for a right-hander and conversely it started right of the target line when we orientated it this way and and my retort to all of that guys is that if, if the face has more influence than the path on a golf shot then try hitting a draw a proper draw from and across the ball attack on it from an outside in attack across the ball with an open club face try hitting a draw from that no matter what you do there with the face you'll never get the ball to go anywhere other than that way you will always go that way can't do anything else guys but anyway that's that's we don't want to get into pedantics or semantics but the golf swing. For, for, for the average player, if, you, if you're outside the line coming into the ball with an open club face, the ball is going to start left and it's going to get out there. It will always primarily, I mean, the, the, the initial starting point is always left of the line for a right hander. So that's all you want to think about. And we proved that with the robot. I mean, the D plane thing. I mean, I know there's a lot of theory about it, but we've been on the front line with this. And, and I suppose you could if you had, if you had a ridiculous amount of club face opening and you came across the line and the club face was like ridiculously open, it could probably start in, in, in a minuscule amount, um, not as far left. Of, of the target line but it would still start left of the target line because this mass here guys influences it this mass here just influenced the direction of the mass there influences the direction of the ball I promise you that that's the way it goes but anyway all that aside the finished product and I haven't hit any shots guys and I've been in the gym this morning shoulders a little bit better than it has been but watch this dead cold golf swing this is the actual application of channel lock. This is what I would do. I would get in here if I was aiming at that, at that uh, sign out there. Get in here dead square. Here. Then I'd come around, get here, then I'd back up a little bit. I'd just come up my 15 degrees. Now guys, whatever the percentage is, I talk in degrees here for me. And it's very hard to see that here, and you'll never ever get any appreciation of that until we get some overhead shots. And I need to bring a truck up here and the, you know, with a ladder on it and shoot up here, or shoot from on top of the undercover um, 
teeing area over there, which is not easy to do here in a commercial place. It's very difficult to, uh, to get that quiet. But diagrammatically, I mean, you, you see, it's very hard front on to see it. But, but really, guys, at the end of the day, if you look at me here, I mean, some people are saying, you know, JH, you don't look like you've got much angle on at all. Well, I, I won't from front on, guys. I just won't. But if you look at from here, and, and this is this is square to the to the camera, and then and that and that's my alignment there, guys. And there's the ball line. Clearly, when I turn around here, my shoulder alignment's there, guys. There it is. It's way over there. Way over there. Now, while I'm changing that way over there to not as far away over there but I'm bringing that up but I haven't gone back to square here I'd have to bring that foot way up here to get back to square and I don't do that I just hit I just hit one dead square to the line here here we are here just turning the feet stepping away coming up the 15 I want to tell you guys and with no exaggeration that's a six iron and that's that's the best six iron I've ever hit on this system I mean that was just smashed in the center of the golf club first up just now what did I do there got here turned here went here whatever it is 50 60 whatever but I came up about 15 to get the back cock and then guys I just thought about going in here going in here pushing back there letting the club rise if it wants to don't try and keep it down it'll rise with the turning of the shoulders but we don't want to do anything deliberately and then just staying there and this as I come down I pull I pull as hard as I can with that lead hand, but I hit as hard as I can with that trail hand. I absolutely, I absolutely try and smash the ball with that trail hand. Now this grass is like inches deep. The ball's sitting down. Now here, come up a little bit, back cock. And guys, that's out of three inches of rough. Just, just easy to do, and and it goes just the same. I mean, it goes in the same direction every shot. I mean, it starts in the same direction. It just does. Here we go. Here, turn here. Oh, wow! Absolutely wow! I think someone made a comment the other day about I would be hitting the ball lower from that back ball position. That's higher than I've ever hit a, a six iron in my life. Higher. Because the impact is so good, guys. It's just... Well, it's just hammer time when, you, when, you, when you're hitting it. Just absolute hammer time. I'll hit one on this angle here. And I'll hit a couple over the camera later. Here we go here. Turn the feet. Here. Step away then. Come up 15. Now I'm just going to push it back here, guys. Get that shoulder across. Well, guys, oh, oh, that's just ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That's got so, I can hit that so hard. I'm hitting it so hard with the trail side because of the efficiency of the trail side and the fact that I'm back here and I can use this trail side effectively and efficiently. Okay, when I'm finished I'm around here because I've expended so much energy into the golf ball <coughs> that that side's not going to stay back there. But the feeling is when I hit the ball that I want it to stay back there. I, I gotta tell you guys that 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 impact off that club there was was magical for me absolutely magical and it's just so flush in the center of the golf club and I can hit it so hard 
That's a crazy thing. I can hit it so hard. Here, turn it here. This, I'll go through if I'm going to hit a shot. I'll hit it out to that. Got six on here. There's a there's a 160 sign out there in the middle of the range. From here, it's about on this angle here. It's about one. It's about 160, about 174 yards with these range balls. Okay, here we go. Turn it here. Bring this up. Back cock it. A guy got scouts on her. That's right at the sign. And that was just motoring. That's right in front of the sign. Right in front of the sign. And the air is very heavy today. But I can feel that. I, I, I know that. I, look, I'm, not, I'm no long knocker. But I can feel that I've got so much more speed. And I can be so aggressive, guys. I just feel like I'm doing this. I just feel like I'm going, just doing that. That's what I feel like I'm doing. Because I'm in position to do that. For the first time, I think, in my life, I've now got the confidence to really use my power and strength on the golf ball. I've always been... Eh, always worried about hammering. I've always hit my irons very conservatively because, you know, the ball forward, and I've always felt out of balance. And I thought that that was just me, but it was the ball position. So, so the amazing thing there, guys, is that I can just... Now, that ball's sitting underground. Or it's, it's underground. Now, to get that out, I'd have to blast that. Now, I will blast that golf ball. That's underground. Sitting right down in crabgrass. And if anybody, Australian guys, know crabgrass, it's named crab for a reason. Here, come up. Wow! Now, guys, I just blew that out of there. Absolutely, oh, that's right at the base of the zone. It just blew, and that, this stuff just kills the club. It just kills it. See how hard I'm hitting it. I, I just, I can hit it hard because I'm efficient now, guys. I'm here. I'm here. That's where the efficiency comes. Look. That's a really efficient hit there. Because all this is supporting the hit. It's not this wishy, well, I've got to get over here. This is, well, this side says, how do I get into that, Jack? How are we going to get over there? We can get over there after we hit the ball, but we don't want to be over there after we hit the ball. We want to be there when we hit the ball. I'll rip one over the camera. Watch this. And this is rip time. Here, up. Guys, I hit that so hard, I took myself off balance. Okay, there's a, there's a hole there I have my foot in. But that was unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's just gone so straight and so far. This ground here looks like they've had uh, Abram tanks out here just doing some donuts. The ground is so hard, uh, unbelievable. But I like to get here because it's the freeway noise doesn't is not as excessive. Okay, and you guys, you've got to play. It, the good thing about having the ups and down lies here with your feet, fantastic. If I get to play at St Andrews, I'll, it'll be I'll be I'll be well seasoned. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Here we go. Six degrees. Back loaded, Jay. It's five o'clock nose. Can't hit it harder than that. Is it harder? Hit it the straighter it goes. You could never hit the ball over here. If I was in front of a firing squad and they all had the guns cocked and they said, OK, JH, you've got to hit 100 shots. And we're cocked here. And the one that you hit left, say goodbye to golf. Wouldn't worry. Say, so guys, what about 200? What about 200? Did I tell you the story about the buddy of mine that's got a... You know when I say, watch this? I've done that my whole life. Even when I used to have my teaching school, I'd say, so watch this. And a buddy of mine's got an Australian, got an Australian parrot. They're white cockatoos, and they, they're prolific speakers. Anyway, he called it JH. And they call them galahs out here, but it's a white parrot. 
cockatoo. And he called it JH. <laughs> and he got it to say, watch this. And you go around to his house and you and and uh, you you walk up up to him and, and say, get out and you say, watch this, watch this. JH the, the cockatoo says, watch this. Because I used to do it at, at the clinics at the um, at my teaching facility years ago. Say, watch this. Yeah, so the so the old cockatoo says, watch this. J.H. the cockatoo. In Australia we call him Goliath. I've been called a Goliath a few times. Watch this, guys. J.H., oh, you can't hit the ball that good. Now, you know that pile of rubbish up there that I was telling you about? It's all trees cut down, haven't taken it away yet. That's not in range for me. That's just flown it. That is just flown that pile of rubbish. It's not in play. I can't... Well, we normally just land in front of it. It's just flown it. Okay, I'm hitting that probably 20% harder because now I've got the system. I know where the ball position is and I can know I can go at it. I know I can. There's no, no point. Why have, why have a turbo that will pump out 500 horsepower if you have it turned down? It's pumping out 300 horsepower. I'm gonna, the JH's turbo is up now. And I'm in a position now because I've got traction for that turbo. I can really hit it. Oh, this feels fantastic. This feels fantastic. Okay, come over here. Five o'clock nose. Come on, JH, you. You know when I said I don't get any movement on the ball? Even though I'm hitting into out, and those divots sound when I was fooling around before, and I'm going hitting ground. Yeah, they're all into out about nine degrees. But I must have exactly the right amount of face angle to to uh, to proportion and equalize out the path because they just go dead straight there's no movement on them I mean none they just go dead straight I hit him we'll get the we'll get the dog out we'll let the big dog eat watch this guys I'm just gonna hammer this watch this I haven't I didn't hit any drivers just I only hit irons. I hit a, you know, hit hit, uh, hit some four irons and three irons, but never hit driver. So you're seeing it live guys. But watch how hard I hit this. I hit it this way. Here. There. <coughs> Step up. Okay guys. <coughs> Well, it's fantastic to, at 75 years, at the stage of your life, at 75 years old, you just hit the best drive you've ever hit in your entire life. Okay, I never started playing when I was 34, as you guys know, but that's still a long time, and that's the best drive I've ever hit. That is the best drive I've ever hit. And I haven't hit with this swing. But I know now, I've got so much confidence now, I can just, this is just, and not only when, there's another word, that, that, that is more precise than straight because that was just ridiculous and guys it's still everything's still gripped down that's what helps me so much I never want to go back to conventional length golf clubs and I can't wait to get a new so oh, a buddy of mine made me up my buddy Chris McCourt who's the number one club maker in Australia great guy uh, he made me up a, a club the other day. I said, Look, D. Cambo's clubs are 72 degrees upright. I said, can you make me up one? Find a head. So he found a new Bridgestone forged head of four iron and he's knocked it up to 73 degrees and he's sending it down to me. He lives up Brisbane way and he's sending it down to me and so I'll have it in a couple of days. And uh, we'll try it at 73 degrees, guys. And of course, when I get my single length Cobras, I'm gonna have them at 72 degrees. That's another story, but watch this. Watch this. Here we go. Step away, Jay. <laughs> As Mo Norman said, you know, he could save uh, golf course developers a lot of money because you'd only have to make fairways, you know, five yards wide. Because that ain't never going over here. In any golf course that had a lot of bunkers on the left, guys, be fantastic for me because I ain't going in them. 
don't go there. That's just a real hard power draw, maybe you know, three yard power draw, but just, and this is one of those Mickelson that they used to use, that Diamata uh, black with the, with the silver flowers on it. And it's as stiff as all heck. And, th and this, this slider head's got no, uh, but what's interesting, it's got no, it's this 432 tourist, it used to be Justin Rose's, but, and he didn't like it because it had too little spin. But what I've done is, it's a 10.5, and what I've done is I've stuck it up to, um, uh, to 11.5. And because it's low spin, and this really stiff shaft, it gives perfect trajectory. So you've got to fiddle, guys. You've got to fiddle. That's another story. Okay, give this a hit, James. Hit one this way. Watch this. Oh. Can't be that easy. Why? Well, my whole life. My whole life I've put up with the, with the struggling with the golf swing because the ball was in the wrong place. I mean, it's just bizarre. The ball is the formal floor in the golf swing. The ball position. It's the formal floor. Unless you can hit to the side of your body in a channel, you'll never hit the ball straight consistently. Mo Norman did and Count Yogi did, but they were geniuses. No one else has ever, ever done it. No one. And I mean no one. Here we go. Watch this, guys. There's a big tree up here, guys, and it's over in the paddock over there with the the bulls and the cows. And it's just they're just flying into the canopy of the tree. Just unbelievable. And see how quick I'm doing that now, because that's my normal modus operandi for playing. That is my address and ignition. Now, now that I've got the sequence, I just Go through the, go through the numbers. It's by the numbers, guys. It's by the numbers. Okay, let's recap. They were unbelievable golf shots. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I just do this. I just, I just got to do this. I'm so pumped. I'm going to hit this. What I think is 150 percent. Now, normally the swing would break down because of that forward ball position. I'm going to hit this harder than I've ever hit a golf ball before. And let's see what it does. I'll hit it dead straight. I'll get dead onto the camera. Here. Come up, J.H. Well, only the best. Only the best six on I've ever hit in my life. I just... Uh, I just hit a four iron up there. And I should be able to hit this harder. Although I grip everything down to the same length. Now as um, as you all know. The ground here is just had some rain last night, it's pretty wet. This is the checkpoint, guys. If you can do that, you know you've got the ball in the right place. Here. Turn the foot, step away. Bring this up. Oh, wow! Hear that? Yeah, guys, there's four iron, and it's just killed. These M2 irons have got those, you know, those thin faces, the flexi faces. And they, um... When you really do nut them, they just crack. You don't hear it on this mic because I've got, I've got the gain turned down so it doesn't pick up the freeway noise. So they probably, it probably sounds like I've got a cashmere insert in the club. I'll hit one right over the camera. This is daunting. You can take out a expensive camera. But watch this, guys. They hit this so hard.
Don't get any better than that. Club's going that way. Club's going that way. I couldn't slice the ball. If someone said to me, hit a slice from there, I just couldn't slice it from there. Because I'm not in a position to, to hit a slice. All I could do is hit a push. Push, cut, just open. Well, it wouldn't be a cut. It would just be a push, push fade. Okay, smooth it out, James. Wow, guys, I've got so much power. It's pulling me out of my shoes. It's pulling me out of my shoes. I've got so much energy in the golf club. I mean, honestly, it's, it's just about pulled me out of my shoes. The club's moving so hard. Just madness. Okay, last one, and I'll just... I'll hit this directly over the camera. Do a Bobby Jones. I hope I don't nail the camera. Look, guys, here I'm square. I'm over here. Step away. Back loaded up. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, so there's a lot happening there. A lot happening. I'll, co I'll come back and I'll explain some of the finer details. Just want to keep the videos not from being a war and peace of videos. So I'll come back and explain a little bit more detail.